As a senior in high school, I remember being asked, what do you wanna do for a living? And at the time, I was really into photography. I was in the band, and I remember not wanting to do music. But as much as I loved photography, I felt like it couldn't be a career by itself. I felt like I had to wrap it up in something. And so going into community college, I remember wanting to be a photojournalist. I thought that was the career path for me because it would allow me to be creative, but also capture stories with my camera. As I finished out my first year in community college, I remember an article dropping and I remember it talking about how the Chicago Sun-Times had fired all their photographers and given their journalists iPhones. And while that was the path I was wanting to go at the time, I felt discouraged. I felt like that was not a good sign for me. And so I remember walking away from that just feeling like I needed to change my major. And so going into university, I had to pick something. And I remember I had chosen marketing because it seemed like the most creative of all the business offerings. But I was told I had three choices within marketing. I had to choose. So they said, you can go management. If you're really good with numbers, you can go with this more mathematical approach. And then we have this other option, which if you really enjoy playing with computers, it might be the path for you, as my counselor told me. And looking back to being a kid, I loved playing on the computer. I remember making fake websites on these free website builders where I could show off my photography or tell stories about friends or my grandmother's stamp store. I would use it to welcome guests in who were walking in and shopping. And I didn't really know what that path looked like for me, but I said I would love to do the one where I get to play with computers. They said, great, this is social media management, which I always thought was kind of odd because I didn't think social media was really a good college degree or, you know, a good career path. Senior year of college, I took a class called Integrated Marketing Communications, and it was the first time I'd ever heard of things like Google search, paid search, PPC, search engine optimization. But I remember having to build a website and write blogs every week to get grades on. And it kind of rejuvenated the spirit that I had about photojournalism when I first started college. And I came to find a lot of joy in that class. It really is what inspired me. I got opportunities like rebuilding a church website and realized that websites could also tell stories. So I continued on that path and would remember going into coffee shops and having weekly meetings about improving the SEO value of a website, not really knowing what I was talking about. I had applied for jobs, but wasn't able to get anything. And I remember the first job I ever applied for was a videographer, which really was so exciting to me to be able to be behind a camera again as a career professional. I didn't get the job. <laughs> and it led me ultimately down the road a few years later to apply for a job in automotive marketing for SEO. I was going to be able to do websites for car dealers. And not thinking I was going to get the job, I did. I took that chance to learn everything I could about building websites and what it meant to have good website structure and to take that SEO knowledge I learned about in class and research more and be a better SEO. While in this job I realized that my creativity behind the camera was mainly about storytelling. Flashback to school, I would use Snapchat stories to tell different short stories that I would send to friends, I'd make them laugh. We would get in the car and we'd ride together, shooting on a GoPro, and I would edit those together and I was so proud of the work I did in my video editor built in with my computer. And it's those moments that make me realize that it wasn't about being a photojournalist, that wasn't the goal. I just wanted to be creative, and I wanted to be able to be creating things, even if I got paid for it. Even if I didn't get paid for it, it's something I was very passionate about. And so today, I get the opportunity to do this. I find one outlet a month to tell a story. Luckily for me, I have a lot of friends that have stories to tell. I find more joy in capturing their stories and sharing their stories. 
them being confident to be able to come to me and say, hey, I have a story that I want to tell or there's a little purpose that I have that I want to express and get online. Can you help? Whether it was through photo or video or a website, it was creative. And so I was so encouraged to be creating little things that I thought at a one point in time was just silly. It was me building a website for my grandmother's stamp store. But now I get to tell more stories. I get to talk about people's faith. I get to support events and ministries that other people believe in and want to support. I love the connection it creates. And I'm so thankful that I got to find creation that makes connection. One thing that I love being able to bring into my job is not just the knowledge of SEO or things of that nature, but it's the ability to connect with people on my team, to lead people, and not just say, hey, you did good work this week, but to even say, hey, I hear you, I see you. And I'm so thankful for that opportunity.